Hello, my name is Cassie Carolus. I use they, them pronouns, and I'm a graduate assistant for the Center for Fraternity and Sorority Life at the University of Houston. All too often, we hear about the many different reasons why students are hesitant to join fraternities and sororities. So we're gonna take some time to debunk a few common myths about fraternity and sorority life on campus. Let's get started. At the University of Houston, many Greeks are involved in several student organization programs and campus traditions. For the past three years, our homecoming court has consisted of Greek student leaders who have also been involved in athletics, residential life, university-sponsored organizations like Frontier Fiesta, Student Program Board, and more. In addition to extracurricular activities, UH Greeks can be seen in various academic excellence programs like the Bauer Entrepreneur Program and the Honors College. Being Greek is one of the many opportunities you can pursue as a cougar. While some of our culturally based organizations are originated based on racial and ethnic identities, many of our chapters have developed their own culture around equity and inclusion in Greek life. Each chapter is unique to the identities of its members and provides an excellent platform for discussion around the true diversity of the community. Everyone has something to bring to the table. At UVH, each of our 39 chapters belong to and collaborate with a governing council on a weekly to monthly basis. The councils consist of the National Panhellenic Council, which are historically black fraternities and sororities. There's also the Interfraternity Council and the Houston Panhellenic Council. Our Multicultural Greek Council is home to our Asian interests and Latinx interest fraternities and sororities. And we have United Greek Council, which governs non-traditional social fraternities and sororities. College culture has historically been associated with partying and drinking, and with Greek life being a big pillar in student life, it's no secret that overlap can occur. However, here with our community, many of our chapters want to prioritize a work and life balance. Being able to hang out with each other as brothers, sisters, and siblings in both an academic and recreational setting. Our community wears our letters with pride and values fraternal excellence over parties and substances. In addition to this, our chapters work with the Center of Fraternity and Sorority Life and the Center of Student Involvement to ensure effective risk management planning for any social or philanthropic activities on campus. Many argue that these spawns of sisterhood, brotherhood, and siblinghood are for life, and the UH Greek community can attest to that. A huge portion of our current campus faculty and staff are alumni of various chapters at UH, if not through their previous institution, and were able to build their professional career due to membership within their organization. In addition to this, the establishment of local graduate chapters and alumni associations help keep chapter members connected while providing long-term resources for chapter members and their families. This can include mutual support, job networking, and community development and involvement. Contrary to what the movies may tell you, not every Greek organization is bound to a giant house with various members. Because the University of Houston is predominantly commuter campus, our Greeks are coming from all areas, both in Houston and out of state, to learn and grow as individuals. Our current Greek life on campus housing is at Bayou Oaks, which is home to 11 of our 39 chapters and has been a hub for our community. We hope that this video provided you with some insight into the culture of fraternity and sorority life. Being Greek at the University of Houston can provide a sense of community and support unlike any other. As always, the Center for Fraternity and Sorority Life is here to answer any questions you may have. We are located in the Student Center North, room 101.